Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So this isn't a video about small engines, this isn't a video about me working on the Evo, the Mini, the MR2. This is about me decorating this wall behind me with some new wall art. If you're into Formula 1 content, you may enjoy this video. Stay tuned. So this wall here, it is pretty full. Let's face it, there's no room. I'll have to make some room. Unfortunately, my garage is very full at the minute. There's engines up here, there's tools and equipment down here. We have equipment against this wall. There's some room back there, but when this lid opens up, whatever I've bought will be in the way. So, the only place it can actually go is probably here. There it is, guys. The Goodyear Eagle F1 Formula 1 tyre. The guy said this is believed to be from the 90s. So, well before I started watching Formula 1. There is writing on this tyre, on both sides. So, to me, that means nothing. But I'm hoping some of you guys out there can help me out. I will do a part 2 in this video. If I find out a lot of information and I can maybe fill the blanks in. But all I know is this is the F1 tyre. It is 25.5. So it is 25.5 wide, 9.5 deep and it is a 13 inch rim. This here, this is what I love. Now when I picked this tyre up, the guy was saying people have been complaining that the quality of the tyre is terrible. It's in very poor condition. Why is he asking so much? Now to me, I wouldn't want a brand new tire. This, I love this detail. All this debris, I mean, there's actually debris of the track embedded in the tire. We have whatever that is there, and we have some piece of plastic, and we've got a lump of tarmac down here. I mean, this, this is the story of the tire. And I can't believe he had actually people complaining that the tire was in bad condition. When I went to pick the tire up, all these cracks, these were actually weren't shown up very well in the picture. And he was worried, I think, that I wasn't going to take it because of the condition. Now, to me, I love this. I would like these further into the actual wall itself. Let's go through, well, let's go through the tread. As you can see, we have a cross. I'm guessing when they take the tire off, this is saying this tire is no good. That's my thoughts on that. We have this mark in here. Now, I have no idea what that is. Is that a signature? Is that just some scribble? What does it look like? O T T O U T out? Maybe? Maybe that's out and that's the signature or yeah, so maybe 36. That could be a 36. Not too sure, but if that means anything guys, then please do let me know down below. We have on the other side. I find this interesting. So 0744. Not a clue what that means. Maybe lap seven of 44 laps. That could be possible because 44 is a typical lap number. Actually that could be. Yeah. That could be correct actually, because there's not much wear in the tire. I've seen them much. So if this car had done seven laps, it could possibly look like this, but actually, yeah. So maybe seven laps of 44, and I'm hoping this is August of 1991. So that's eight slash 91. Now, when these come off the car, I'm assuming as soon as they've been pulled off the car, that they're tagged up because you couldn't just stack them in a big pile because you would need to reference the tire itself. And I'm assuming this is what this is. So maybe on lap 7 of 44 laps on the August of 1991, this tyre was taken off the car. So, the wall of the tyre. Now, this is what I believe to be the out facing side of the tyre. We have Goodyear, the tyre size, Eagle F1, a part number of some sort. We have Eagle, and then we have... I think that is 8191, maybe, not too sure, but that could be 1991 once again, maybe that's the 8th of Jan, 19, no, sorry, that is, that actually looks to be, oh, it could be because the top of the 9s are missing, so I have a 91 or 41, any idea guys, please do let me know down below. 
we have a stamp h5 and something else it's obviously radial look at this for racing purposes only that is love that not for highway use we don't have a dock cord I wish we had a dock cord because that would definitely indicate when the tire was made um we have a d4744 5ta0 mb22 d6r 25 no idea what that means hopefully someone else will i mean that is i love this good year and you got the the texture behind there i think that that just looks outstanding love it absolutely love it that that is like iconic for goodyear this is when i think of the goodyear brand this is what i think of so i believe this is the rear of the tire or the, the inside part will actually go to the car i think i don't really know the size differences between the front and the rear back then but 25.5 times 9.5 dash 13 would this be a rear tire i think so now at first, there's, there's an R down here, so I didn't know if that meant rear or right. I think it just means rear, and the reason why I think that is because they've put an arrow here, see in this direction. So if this was in the rear, this would actually be the left tyre, not the right. If this was on the right, the direction would be going the wrong way. We also have some other markings and like a silver pen. Now I think these were put on maybe before. The yellow seems to be what was done after the wear. This looks much smarter and maybe this was for a race of 66 laps and they were going to change it in the seventh and end up being 44. Or maybe I'm just completely reading that wrong and that has got nothing whatsoever to do with anything. Hopefully there's someone out there who can decrypt what all this stuff means. It'd be fantastic to know the, the race that this car was actually on would be amazing if that is possible. Bear in mind there could be possibly two cars from this team out on the race and they may go through 12 tyres apiece. You know, you could potentially have 20, 30, 40 tyres stacked up in a pile and you need to know which one was which. And this must be some way of referencing that. So. I'm sure there's someone out there who can probably look at this and go, yeah, yeah, that was the race that was held on August 1991. It was changed on lap seven out of 44 laps. And then these numbers around here is that means the point that's out so I can go into a, a rail so they can say this tire is junk, it's no good. And this is the code that they've used with the signature of the person who did it. I don't know. If that was the case, that would be pretty damn cool really would but i love the way you can still see the pinholes here and you can kind of still make up the tread on the outside i mean i just think it looks absolutely fantastic i mean this section here the detail the texture i mean that's that's brilliant you just these are really hard to come across and this came up for sale very close to where i live literally 10 minutes up the road so i couldn't be more happier i was actually looking for christmas presents for people I came across this so I've just rotated it and I realized when I moved it it kind of just sat in that position so it just sat in this position so there must be a flat spot in the tire unfortunately yeah there is so it must have sat like this for many years which is strange because this to me isn't the good side maybe they like the fact that it was writing on the wall and you could see it but you can't see you can see the cross but you can't see any of your writing at all the writing is actually on this side here i personally think so i've turned upside down yeah there's definitely a, a flat spot how strange you wouldn't have thought that would have actually did that because there's no way it's not like someone was sitting on it or it was on a car it was probably just sat in someone's hallway or games room odd um yeah so this to me i think this is the better view 
there's no writing on it which i quite like it's it's very factory original on this side but the from above if this was on the ground you'd be able to see all these cords and the cross and what looks to be some sort of signature and you have this texture on the on the outside here i think that just adds character so that's probably how i'll be using it, i think so i need to get that up there somewhere i can definitely move this wheel this isn't anything to really display it's pretty horrendous to be fair i love the mustang signs the bottle cap could probably move i like the garage ones so i think i think we'll actually make this a centerpiece i think i might just take these down put the tire right in the center and then move these to work around the tire yeah try that i've tried bolts screws hooks uh basically i actually narrowed down to these guys here these go into the concrete and then when you tighten it down it opens up this end here and then i was going to put a rubber grommet on the end <sighs> these are overkill these are like for punch bags and stuff not for a light tire which is a good point actually the f1 tire is very light for a tire of this size it's surprising how light it actually is so what i went with is a mixture of a washer a very long screw and this guy here now and this guy here now this will when it's on the wall the tire will sit on this rubber like that it won't go it won't slide off because of this washer rubber washer but it will sit nice and snug it protects it's rubber on rubber so hopefully i shouldn't have any any marks left over now as you've seen here the flat spot it's obviously quite a soft rubber so basically if i was just to put a bolt or a screw in the wall and hook it on that after a few years you might find it's actually indenting the rim this is actually from a washing machine so when you buy a washing machine the drum will be held in place for shipping this is like a bung that goes in then the bolt goes through i've probably actually got the bolt yes i do these are the bolts i think that came with it so when you buy a washing machine it's something like that with a plastic plug inside there so always good to keep all the stuff they always come in handy so that will go on there like so and then these just to space it out from the wall you can use washers if you wish it actually makes this quite strong as well because as you can see the screw is much thinner than the actual the hole so this actually just fills it up and for my measurements that on the wall should be perfect so let's get that in there and get the tire up and see how it looks it's bigger than i expected i'm not gonna lie it's i mean that's my workbench so from here this is kind of where i normally work <laughs> but man that looks absolutely awesome yeah very happy and as you can see as i was saying you got these rubber mounts here so it's rubber on a rubber there's no contact with the actual screw or the washer it is not going anywhere solid absolutely solid so man that looks so good clean this mess up uh bring this back down i think we may give it a good clean i don't go crazy i'm not going to use any tire cleaner or anything because i don't want to take all these marks off i think i might just basically give the inside a ferro clean because there's mold growing at the back now i'm not too sure if that is actually from the 90s or if that's just a recent thing but i want to give it a good clean on the inside because i'm not too fussed about that on the outside i think i might just spray some detergent on and rub down the, the damp cloth and then maybe put some tie shine on and call that good
and that is one side done i don't think i'll do the other side i'm quite happy with that it's this is the side i'm going to see this side is the original uh i think you probably could agree there's quite a big difference as you can see that's how i got it and i'm perfectly fine with that i'm happy with that that's not my concern but this is the side that's going to go on the wall now i was going to slick the actual tread side but i don't want to risk ripping some of this off this is quite loose i'm pretty sure if i try to clean this or pull it i think it might come off so i'd rather keep these intact don't worry this stuff is really shiny but in about an hour's time it'll soak in and you'll barely even see it i mean you can already see it there it's starting to evaporate it's not the the stuff that makes it look like you put polish on your wheels this is like a repair solution it kind of soaks into the rubber so it won't be as shiny as that don't worry because that looks a bit a bit too glossy for a bit of wall art but yeah let's get this on the wall and see what it looks like and that is the finished product absolutely love it i think that looks fantastic each to their own some people might think this looks a bit stupid i love it it's pretty secure this is not going to fall down don't worry this is well and truly anchored to the wall and there is a quarter to half inch overlap on this under the rubber itself so this isn't going anywhere pretty cool view as well from from pretty much all angles so i've got my aerosols my lubricants and such down here got tools over here got the engine the cleaning station the sandblaster so i do do a lot of work in this area so it's pretty cool from here and obviously from the bench itself when I'm looking around very cool very 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 cool very happy for those of you that are interested in how much i paid it was 90 british pounds that i paid for this some people might think that's a bargain some people may say i've overpaid some people may say this is scrap and i probably should have got for free each their own i was very comfortable paying 90 pounds i think it is definitely worth that for the, the quality the for the history of it alone it may not be the race driver we think it is it may not be from the car that we think it is but at the end of the day it's from f1 car and i think it looks pretty damn cool it's pretty old it's it could possibly it may actually be as old as i am so that's quite impressive so i think we're gonna call it there guys thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video like always please like subscribe comment down below and i will see you in the next one